Just finished first day of surgery. Um, I didn't really scrub into any cases, but today I got to see pretty much like five or six colonoscopies and then an upper endoscopy. But uh, I'm actually, my preceptor for the month, it's really cool. My preceptor for the month is the anesthesiologist that works here at the surgery center. And it's awesome because I get to see a lot of different specialties and a lot of different procedures. So today I did, I did GI, tomorrow I'm gonna be at another center and I'm gonna be doing a lot of ophthalmology. So I think some cataracts and things like that. So I really love that this rotation for me, at least, um, I like the idea that it's gonna be very, uh, it's gonna be a variety of different procedures, different specialties, which I wanna see because as a future primary care PA, you know, I wanna be able to show my patients or tell my patients that, hey, I did sit through this procedure, I know what it's like, here's what you need to know and how, you know, pretty much you'll feel, things like that. So overall, first day is really great. The awesome thing is I'm out of the OR by noon or one. There's also podiatry, there is, you know, pain management, uh, ortho, there's ob -GYN, there's some cardio, so a lot of different procedures and really excited to just, whoa, there's bare lighting, really excited to just have the opportunity to um, sit in on all of these and I do get to scrub in, in a few of those as well, so really excited for that and my rotation is all or mostly OR based and <clears throat> I don't get to see a lot of clinic time which I'm actually kind of okay with because all my other rotations have been kind of clinic based. But this surgery rotation all month, I do get to be in the OR for pretty much every day, which I think is a really invaluable experience and really excited. And a lot of my classmates have loved their surgery rotation and already day one, it's off to a great start. The anesthesiologist I'm with is a really great guy. He even like talked about three things that he kind of uh, does or like what is it, is his pillars in terms of being a provider. And you know, the first thing is making a difference in someone's life every day. Second thing is think differently, uh, you know, be open, things like that. And then the thirdly is simplify your work. Don't make it harder on yourself, have a plan and have a structure and know what you have to get done. He even told me like, oh, if you need someone or, you know, everyone should have one person they can lean on. And he was like, hey, you have me, here's my number. Like, you know, I'm always a text away. I'm really thankful for him. He's a really, really great guy and really excited for the rest of this month. What's going on, guys? It is about 6 p.m. I'm headed over to one of my classmates' place. We're having a guy's night. We're gonna be barbecuing, playing board games, and just hanging out. Got a good two, three hours of studying in, study GI for my surgery EOR, and then went to the gym and now headed to uh, my classmate's place, James, with the boys. I also brought a veggie plate because I want us to eat somewhat healthy. <laughs> I know there's gonna be like beer, burgers, chips, things like that. So I'm gonna bring a veggie plate and then yeah, I'm really excited just to just relax. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a full day of studying and packing as well. I do move in a week, next weekend. There's a dog? Zach! I didn't know he had a dog. I had a dog. That's Zelda. That's his dog? Hi. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> what? Hi dog. Wait, is this Hi, Zelda. James' dog? Yeah. Oh, I know. Hey. Thank you all for coming. Hi. Oh, dude, thanks for having us. Hi. Okay, I just finished rolling. Hi. Oh, Hi. I love you. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're really? so cute. Dude, it's my first time inside your place. Do it for the gram. <laughs> Say what's up. What's up? What up? All right. As some of you guys know, or as I've mentioned in my previous video, and sorry, I'm wearing my retainers right now. Sometimes I like to just like brush my teeth during the day and it's for my retainers because yeah, I don't wear them enough, but uh, <laughs> hence my lisp. But I'm gonna be running a few errands, gonna go to Lowe's, get some packing boxes, and then go to the gym and pretty much study a little bit more. I just studied for the last couple hours and pack up as much as I can because I am moving next weekend. Yo, this line for Costco gas is crazy. Wild. Oh. oh. Uh. Being that guy. All right, I don't know about you guys, but when I come to like Home Depot or stores like this, I just go ahead and right away ask a worker if I can, or I just go ahead and ask a worker 
where the stuff is so I don't have to go around looking for everything. And so I'm here in aisle three, or two actually, and got some medium sized packing boxes. $1.44, not too bad. I'm gonna pick up probably like five, probably pick up one or two for Julia, and then three, maybe four for myself. So I just realized we're probably gonna get a lot of clips from this month with me sitting in my car in front of my house or my apartment because I really can't film inside when I'm in clinic. But uh, today I had podiatry clinic. Um, no procedures, anything like that. Just got to see a bunch of patients with uh, a few podiatrists and it was really good experience. Um, a lot of, a lot, a lot of diabetic peripheral neuropathy, um, a lot of idiopathic peripheral neuropathy as well. Just got out, it's about 4.35, gonna gym, and then probably just study for the rest of the night. And then I have podiatry clinic again tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be in the OR with the podiatrist on Wednesday and Friday, I believe. All right, so don't mind my crazy hair or being in the car right now, but today, March, no, with March, what am I saying? Today is May 10th. Today has been an amazing day and probably the best day I've had so far in surgery. Um, got to amputate a toe uh, with the guidance, obviously, of the physician. And that was amazing. Like, what a high, seriously. Um, did a few LMAs as well, some laryngeal mask airways. It's like kind of like a form of intubation. And yeah, the doctor was just walking me through. Good experience, super thankful, especially to, you know, have preceptors and, you know, surgeons and uh, providers that are willing to let students have these hands-on experiences. But this weekend, I'm actually gonna be moving to a new apartment, so I'm gonna be moving all this weekend. Uh, hopefully, I'll film some of that. Yeah, uh, great day in surgery. The best one I've had so far, and just really stoked. All right, good morning, guys. It is almost nine o'clock, and today is officially move-in day. I did move a lot of boxes yesterday. They let us move in a few days or a day early, get our keys early without charging us. So shout out to our new apartment complex. But uh, I literally just woke up and I just packed my car for more stuff. Yesterday I, I did four or five trips. Again, I drive a Honda Civic. I don't have a big car and I have a lot of stuff. I'm kind of moving my life right now, so. And you can tell I'm sleepy. Literally just woke up and uh, yeah. The place is like 15 minutes away, all freeway from where I live now, so it's not too bad. We're getting a U-Haul later today at 12, and then having some friends help us out, so that's really nice of them. Hopefully we'll be done by the end of today. I had a four-way stop and I went, and then uh, I go, <gasps> she's like, oh, looking to the right, and I literally thought I was gonna die. Cause you can't stop on this yeah. thing. Yeah. Once, once you start pedaling. And especially if you have stuff in the back too. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Thanks for your help today. Oh, Thanks for your help today. No problem. Work out again. Here at IKEA, about to pick up UN's bed. She's not living on a not living on a futon anymore. We all got the Swedish meatballs. Apparently they got a little special uh, eat for free today and tomorrow if you spend over a hundred and she's buying a queen ass bed, so. Oh I'm so tired. Oh. Finally moved all our stuff into the apartment. Take a look. Take a look. Look how chaotic this looks. And you don't even don't even want to see my room. It's like crazy. But uh gonna unpack for the rest of the night and yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product. Actually, I'll show you guys my room right now. It's horrendous, to say the least. All right, all right, it is 1.30. This is the progress I've made. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Probably gonna unpack for 30 more minutes and then shower and head to sleep. Okay, there's this crazy grasshopper cricket chilling in my fan, if you like. How do you kill grasshoppers or crickets? Let me know. All right, today I was in pain management. I uh, got to see a good amount of epidurals, some median 
branch blocks, a lot of nerve blocks, some nerve radio frequency ablations. So that was really cool. Um, and then I was in the pain clinic in the afternoon, pain management clinic in the afternoon, and that was interesting to see, you know, kind of the balance of people that really need pain meds and pain se uh, drug seekers and all that stuff. So gonna head home and study. One week later. What up, y'all? It's um, May 21st, and it has been a minute since I've actually checked in. Been recording on my phone, but hopefully this all comes together as one month in my surgery rotation. But uh, it's been a great experience so far. Today, um, didn't have to go in until the afternoon, heading in actually pretty soon. But have some cardio cases, I think a few TEEs, transesophageal electrocardiograms, electrocardiograms, which I haven't seen before, so. But uh, we just moved to kind of southwest Las Vegas and away from Henderson. Um, we're not in Henderson as much because we only go to school once a month for our EOR. But yeah, I'm about to make a quick protein shake and then head on over to the surgery center. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, <laughs> about 6.30, I'm about to head out. I am going into ob Gyne today. Um, gonna be seeing some Gyne cases, actually with one of my classmates, which is awesome. Someone that I hang out with, go out with. And yeah, so gonna be seeing some Gyne cases today, studying for the rest of the day, going to the gym, hopefully after I get done with the OR. Excited because I haven't seen a lot of gyne cases. That's probably one of my weaker subjects um, is ob gyne And so I definitely want to reinforce that. And then I also still have my ob gyne rotation in July. So yeah, wearing my figs, even though I have to go switch into the OR scrubs, I always wear my fig scrubs when I go in. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. and. I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, so just finished surgery for today. Um, was in ob gyne with Anna. Hi! Uh, what did we see today? <laughs> we did a lot of um, stress and incontinency stuff. So we did some Botox, um, we did some slings, and then also we did a lot of dilation and curvature for um, and the uterine cavity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a good experience. I've never seen a lot of those kind of procedures, so it was good and we're done for the day. What up guys? So this is kind of like a mukbang, mukbang, but uh, I got this chicken Caesar salad. Sorry, the lighting's kind of off. Um, I just finished clinic. It's about 1.30. I'm starving, so. One of the cool things about the surgery rotation is that I get to eat or I get free food, free lunch every day. Today I was with an orthopedic surgeon, did some knee arthroscopies and some shoulder rotator cuff repairs. So I'm talking with my mouth full, but the last two cases were shoulders and um, took about an hour each. Got one week left of my surgery rotation. It's been really great. Um, I like it a lot. I do definitely, I think I definitely like family med more. I don't know why. I think... Um, just because I wasn't really involved with the pre and post op care of a patient in this my surgery rotation, that you know the patients I, I met them for like five minutes pre op and then they were under general anesthesia for the most part, and so the patient's sleeping for a majority of the days that I'm in the OR. Next month I have two weeks of cardio and two weeks of family med. For me, I did want to get more as much family med exposure as I could get before I actually start practicing as a family med PA. So I'm doing two weeks of cardio and then doing two weeks of adult med or family med. All right, guys, I'm going to finish my salad and then head on home. What is going on guys? So another great day in surgery. Um, today I was in podiatry. My favorite days have definitely been podiatry because they let me do the most. I scrubbed in two out of the three cases and the first one I scrubbed into, we did have a bunionectomy, so, but it was like a multi-procedure um, bunionectomy. Pretty much, there's like a standard one that you do at the head, but then there was like a lapidus infusion. Uh, the podiatrist I was with, the two days that have been my favorite today and previous one 
Um, he's been the podiatrist and he just lets me do a lot and is very great at teaching. And I really, 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 really appreciate him. And uh, we both went to UCSD. So that was really cool to kind of be alumni bros. But um, yeah, um, it's Memorial Day weekend. I apparently have Monday off. I didn't even realize that the surgery center was closed on Monday. So I'm not going to be actually going in on Monday. I'll be studying. But uh, yeah, I'm ex super excited. And yeah. All right. What's going on, guys? It is Tuesday, May 28th. Today is my second to last day in my surgery rotation. Um, and I'm home right now. I just got home from today's cases and I'm eating poor man's lunch, rice, egg and kimchi, Korean poor man's. I think I have a little spot on my camera. I don't know. I was working with general surgery today and scrubbed into some cholecystectomy, uh, laparoscopic procedures, and then also um, had some cyst removals on a scalp and then also a hem hemorrhoidectomy. Yeah, that was actually really interesting in the sense that those general surgeons, you don't really, you know, the cases vary, very, um, they vary widely. So um, yeah, it was cool to see all the different cases in one day. Um, but I do have a lot to study for my surgery exam on Friday. It's been a great month. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this like every single day my reaction and I'll include some little like, I don't know, video clips I find online because obviously I can't film um, in the actual OR. But um, yeah, it's been fun. And I don't have an EOR exam next month, uh, July. So yeah, no stress with that. But we are taking our second pack rat that month. So we'll be studying for that obviously. Gonna finish eating and then head to Starbucks to study.